So as you can tell by the title today, we're going to be talking about the explosive devices that were just found that had been sent out to several prominent individuals, which I will go over here in just a minute. Just this morning, uh, it is October 24th, 2018, and uh, somebody got a bug up their ass and decided to create some explosive devices and send them to people who potentially they don't like, most definitely for political reasons. The people that they sent these explosive devices to uh, are... Uh, Barack Obama, they sent it to his home in Washington, D.C. They sent one to the New York home of Bill and Hillary Clinton. Billary got one. Uh, they sent one to the offices of CNN, reportedly addressed to CIA Director John Brennan. I don't know why they would address it to him at the CIA or at the CNN offices. It doesn't make much sense unless somebody thinks it's CNN is working with the CIA. I don't know. Can't explain that one. Uh, and then one was sent to Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Um, obviously, uh, three Democrat politicians, left-leaning, progressive politicians, and of course CNN. Uh, I, I don't know who sent these packages. We don't know who sent these packages, but it does appear to be pretty self-evident that somebody with a political bias against the left probably sent these packages out. I mean, at this point, there's really no other way to look at this, in my opinion. Um, they did report that there was never any um, uh, potential for harm to any of these people because all these packages were immediately identified as suspicious explosive devices. Um, you could have just said explosive devices. That in and of itself makes it suspicious. I think the suspicious is uh, <laughs> it's kind of a, a given at this point. But uh, they said, you know, it was immediately caught, whether it was uh, at, at uh, Hillary Clinton's house, Barack Obama's house, Debbie Washington Schultz's house was immediately caught by Secret Service in all three of those instances before it even made it anywhere close to any of those individuals. Uh, as far as CNN, CNN I'm sure has good security at their New York headquarters and so it was of course caught by security and bomb squad was called in and all this kind of other stuff. Uh, and so that's where we are right now. Let's look forward a little bit, even though we don't know exactly who did this. Let's be Let's be assured on a few things. One, this will be talked about and harped on for a very, very, very long time. And not that it shouldn't be. Because we need to make sure that regardless of where your political ideologies lie, you denounce this across the board. Whoever did this needs to be thrown in a deep, dark hole for the rest of their lives. Even though nobody was hurt, this person is a nut job and a psycho, and that is not how you handle politics in this country, okay? Uh, at least not right now, right? I mean, we haven't gotten to the, to the Civil War point, right? And hopefully we never get back to that point again. We already did that once. It was, it was pretty bad. Uh, and so these types of tactics are unacceptable, okay? If you have political disagreements, you talk about them. You don't resort to violence, and you certainly don't resort to making bombs. So let's put that aside right here and now. Uh, but I, I do think it is going to be a little bit hypocritical uh, going forward because they will talk about this as this huge right-wing conspiracy. And look what Trump is encouraging. He's encouraging people to try and bomb the media and bomb politicians and all this other stuff because they're going to blame Trump. Obviously, that's what's going to happen. Uh, completely ignoring the fact that about a year ago, some dude tried to take out, I believe, what was it, about half of the Republican Congress on a baseball field? Um, with a, a rifle, what they would consider an assault rifle. Uh, so let's not forget that. They, they talked about that for about, I don't know, two days, but because it was a left-winger, nutjob Bernie Sanders supporter that tried to do it, they just stopped talking about it. But this time they're going to harp on it for a long time. And again, not that they shouldn't. This was a very bad thing that happened. Fortunately, nobody got hurt, but still, very, very bad. It's just very hypocritical that they didn't do the same thing when it was somebody on their side of the political aisle that tried to go and assassinate a bunch of Republican or right-leaning politicians. The other thing, of course, Trump, Trump. They're gonna focus on Trump. Hopefully, he takes his foot out of his mouth and doesn't tweet anything stupid, and he comes out and immediately and swiftly denounces this and says we will find the person that did this, that this is unacceptable, it doesn't matter what's going on in politics, there is no excuse for this type of behavior. Hopefully he comes out and does that. I don't know if he will. I hope he does. Of course if he does, it doesn't matter anyway. The, the political spectrum being what it is today, the left, the media, everybody's still going to just harp on him and say, he did this, he, he openly called for violence against politicians, even though the left's the ones actually calling for violence. It just sucks that we find ourselves in a position if you aren't on the left, whether you're right-leaning, whether you're in the middle like me, whatever it may be, um, it's, it's a shame when, when something like this happens and it just kind of gives them proof to keep spouting off 
what most of the time is bullshit, and what most of the time is this stuff and tactics they're the ones actually using consistently and all the time, but then when one of, one of the people on the other side does it, there we go, it just backs up everything they say, so of course they're going to harp on Trump and the right and everybody else about this stuff, and there you go, that's where we are right now. So. I'm sure we'll talk about this more tonight on the uh, podcast, so that's going to be it. Uh, got any questions, comments, anything like that, leave that stuff down below, and we will talk to you guys later. Thanks.